Trent. I'm Nathan. And we're at Seek Skate Camp testing out the Vans Zaba. Oh, get ready. Get ready for this. <laughs> the Zaba. The Zaba. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good shoe, dude. Yeah, I think it good feels shoe. good. I think I was a little skeptical at first. Yeah, it just felt really stiff. And I was like, where's the microwave at? Yeah. <laughs> but after microwave. like 25 minutes, <laughs> sweating in them, <laughs> they, uh, they molded pretty nicely. I'd say roughly 20 minutes to like warm them up and then up to an hour to get really used to them for me. The arches were pretty high. For me, it was definitely something to get used to. The toe is like really kind of narrow compared to other van shoes. A lot of van shoes are like really rounded out. I've got a weird pinky toes, but they actually feel really good. I agree with the pointiness. They feel very structured in the toe. So like they wouldn't really like widen out over time. I feel like they keep their toe structure. Yeah. Man, you really said it, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it fits pretty true to size. Yeah, I'd say true to size as well. If you skate, you know, your regular size and bands just stick with that. Yeah, you don't need to really size up or down in this shoe, for sure. I think the flick is very quick and responsive. And they're flicky, you know? They're quite flicky. It's flicking and it's shipping, baby. <laughs> so my first kickflip was just oh, prime time, dude. It was sick. I, I do like the rubber, though, even for being like almost like a harder, almost composite. I'd say when I was like running down some of the ramps or like trying to like slide into them, and they gripped like super well, honestly. Got some proper grip I'd on them. I'd say I almost caught an edge on, on them a little bit. If I like landed out of a ball or something. I like to skate a lot of transitions, so I kind of look for a really board feely shoe. Pretty much skating old schools most of the time. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, for a cup sole, I could skate transition with a lot of board feel. I was definitely feeling the board, for feeling sure. the curves of the board. The feel is there, so I'm pretty hyped on that. It's a pretty good shoe, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Impact support was phenomenal. Dude, definitely. That was my first thought. Like when I put them on, I was like, I bet you could huck. You yeah. could get buck in these, dude. Definitely would huck. One thing I'll point out is like the tongue's really good. The tongue's, tongue's super great. good. It's like nice and cushy. If you ever get karate chopped in the top of the foot, it's you're protected. Yeah. I had a hard time keeping them tied. I probably tightened them three more times from my init initially putting them on. Not very breathable. I, would not say I got it's some in... sweaty puppies. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's bleeding through a bit, you know. Yeah, you get you kind of sweat got through. Some I sweat through a lot of shoes. After skating a more technical pair of shoes like this, I would consider skating more of them for sure. My feet do not feel as hurt as like a, just a regular old vulcanized shoe, no. which is pretty nice. I'm not used to that at all. I like to skate shoes that like traditionally hurt my feet, like that are terrible for skateboarding. So having like a little extra cushion uh, while I'm pushing is really nice, dude. It's really good. <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> for, uh, yeah, it's capabilities all around in all facets of skating. It impressed me. Definitely. Yeah. I'm really Enjoying the experience. I can't wait to keep skating them. It'll only get better with time. They seem like a, they're gonna last like a long time as well, oh, yeah. and that's that's important. You're gonna get your money's worth, I'd say. I think so for sure. Yeah. They're kind of sick, right? Yeah. I think they're I... called the Zaba. They are cool. What's up, guys? We're back. Trent, not here anymore. I guess you're stuck with me. <laughs> Okay, so I skated the shoe for about 20 some odd hours. As far as wear and tear on the shoe goes, right here I almost got a hole at the front. That's where I like hard flip. I do hard flips a lot. That wore out quite a bit. And then all this is kind of like starting to peel up and the stripe is starting to peel back, which happens on a lot of vans. But uh, overall it's holding up really well. The sole and the traction, still grippy as ever. It's honestly probably even better than like when you get it because it's got like a little bit of wear and tear to it. Some things I didn't like about it were the breathability, that I got some sweat stains all over the shoe. I did tear some laces, but I'm not gonna hold that against the shoe because I tear laces on every pair of shoes I've ever owned. The shoelaces come untied rather easily and the insole does not come out. So keep that in mind. It was really protective. When I was walking around, it felt like, oh, this is like just a good shoe. Like you could probably even just like work a full day wearing these shoes would be a solid, just everyday shoe. There's always gonna be people that are skating like real thin, basic run-of-the-mill skate shoes. That's not ever gonna change, but 
over time, as skaters get older, they're gonna realize what those shoes are doing to their feet, and they're gonna want to put something with a little more technology on their toes. Okay, once again, this is the Vans Zaba. Okay, if you got any questions, comments, thoughts, feelings, leave them in the comment section down below. If you want a pair, get them at Tactics. <laughs> bada boom, bada bing.